Hello guys welcome to another video on marker and board FIFA tutorials. In today's tutorials we will be talking about the legacy defending and how to use it effectively. Ok so let's get right into today's video. The legacy defending which is mostly preferred by most FIFA players is because it requires less skill and it is easy to use as compared to the tactical method of defending. Using legacy defending effectively in FIFA can be a matter of personal preference, but there are some general tips that can help you improve your defense with this system. Which I will teach later in this video. In FIFA, there is no specific key combination to perform legacy defending as it is simply a setting that you turn on in the game's controller settings. Once you have enabled legacy defending in the settings, you will need to hold down a designated button on your controller. On the PlayStation controller you simply press the X button. And to activate the second man press you press the box button. And on the Xbox controller you press on A. And to activate the second man press on the Xbox controller you press X button. This mistake is what players who use this system of defending make. They overcommit a lot. Despite the fact legacy defending does not require any technique as a result some player refuse to think through. And as a result pulling out their defenders and strikers out of position which is later exploited by his or her opponent. Legacy defending can be very effective, but it's important not to rely on it too much. It's still important to manually control your defenders and position them correctly, as well as to time your tackles and interceptions. While legacy defending can make tackling easier, it's still important to time your tackles correctly. Wait until the last possible moment before making a tackle, and try to anticipate the movement of the opposing player. Legacy defending allows some slight use of the jockey movement. Jockeying is an effective defensive technique that involves using small movements to stay close to the opposing player and limit their options. Use jockeying in combination with legacy defending to make it harder for your opponent to make successful attacks. So in general, legacy defending can be played like tactical defending. But you can't always rely on legacy defending. Try and master the tactical defending since it is more effective. The second man press is a tactic that allows you to bring an additional defender to press the opponent without actually controlling that defender. To activate the second man press in legacy defending, hold down the secondary press button by pressing box on PlayStation. And for Xbox controller press A. It is therefore important to note that while the second man press can be an effective tool, you should not overuse it as it can leave gaps in your defense and allow your opponent to exploit the space created. Use the second man press strategically, and combine it with other defending techniques such as jockeying and manual tackling to improve your overall defensive strategy. That's it for today's tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell button. See you in my next video.